Hi, this is Martin, your carpet overlocking teacher. Okay, today we're going to show you why you get hairiness on the edge of your carpet. And it's all about the setting of your machine. I've got an untrimmed piece of carpet here and I'm going to run it through with the machine set like a lot of people have it. And that's with a small gap through between the, the uh, tongue of the foot and the guide. That small gap is what gives you the airiness. So we'll just run this through. And just see how we've got a hairiness along here. And that's because of the, the, the uh, gap that we have down there. Now I'm just going to close it up and we'll do the other side. So we grab a screwdriver. And we undo these two screws. We just slide that across till it's touching. So they're rubbing. Now this will narrow your stitch up a little bit but it'll give you a very good job and you won't need to trim it with a pair of scissors which so many people do so we'll just run it through again Look at the difference between the two of them. That one, there's no hair hardly at all coming through, and this one's quite hairy along here. And it's all the, all the setting on that piece of equipment. The other thing is these machines, these three thread machines, are made to finish the stitch right on the edge of the of the material, not running right over. Now, what remember what we've done? We've run it through with the the uh, little bit of a gap and what that little gap does is it allows the pieces to come through while it's stitching then we've closed it up and we've run it through on this side and we haven't got that problem at all so i hope you find that successful <laughs>